Hi guys, so today we're going to update the firmware of the Denon DJ SC5000. When you purchase the SC5000M or the NC SC5000, you won't be able to uh, access the Wi Fi, so you still have to um, upgrade the firmware. So all you need to do is go to Denon DJ website. So let's type Denon DJ on Google. And then you can just go straight to the downloads. And then you will see here which layer you have. So basically I have the SE5000M. So SE5000M, um, you can do firmware update in PC from an update through Mac so basically you have to connect the uh, RJ45 going to your laptop in order for you to do this so what, what I would choose is the USB updater so we just download it as you can see I have downloaded it before this should be on your um, USB so you have to copy this in your USB. So in order for you to extract, just right click, extract all, and extract to this. Now you will have these two files basically on your USB. So you copy this on your USB and you're good to go. As you can see, this player is already updated to 1.6.0. This other player is still on the 1.2.2. So, this one will pop up once you purchase a new Denon DJ SC5000. So, it's mismatched because the other player is already on 1.6.0. Now, we're going to update this. So I got a thumb drive that has the Dan and DJ firmware update. So basically, um, this should only have the firmware, only this, only the firmware file, and then you have to put it on the USB one, which is in front of the console. Just press the remind later. And you have to press this to go to the utility. So you, when you press this preferences first and uh, slash utility, so you will have utility and preferences. So you go to the utility and press reboot. Now version media 1.6 available for update. Do you want to update? Warning, this may take up to two minutes. So you just click yes. Make sure you don't switch off your unit and let it update up to the end. So after this you will see the screen. Don't switch it off because it's still not on yet. You see this, you still have to wait for some time. So basically, it has to update. As you can see, it's already updated. So when you click, if you have a song, so basically you have to put a new USB in order for you to have a source. But if you go to the utility, 
Ilang press utility it's 1.6.0 Now, to reboot it, just switch it off. Yes, and switch it on. See, it's 1.6.0. So, if I switch on this unit as well, .0. then you won't have any pop-up message and you will be able to use the Wi-Fi so you can connect on your Wi-Fi as well and you can um, access your Dropbox your Beatport account title account etc awesome.